In today's tech video, we're going to take this drone right here. This is the DJI Tello drone, and we're going to review it by taking it indoors and outdoors and seeing what this thing can do and to kind of give you guys a, a good look at uh, what this thing is capable of doing, a, a great budget drone. So let's, uh, let's dive into today's video. Before we begin, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so you can get notified for future videos. I'd love to have you back in the next one. Well, hey guys, Juan here. Thanks for stopping by my channel and checking out today's video. So we're going to be taking this drone over to um, a gym right now, my uh, gym at the church, and we're going to see how well it does inside uh, with no wind and just a, like in an indoor type of environment. And then later on in the video, we'll take it out in my backyard and see how well it does outside with a little bit of wind blowing. Uh, so it should give you guys a pretty good idea of what this thing uh, can do, how powerful it is and how well it, it floats in the air. So I think it'll, I'll get you some pretty good footage uh, to see if this is the drone that you're wanting to purchase. And if you are looking to purchase this drone, I'll have a link in the description down below where you can get it. I'll have a couple of links. I'll put just a drone if you're looking to go a little bit cheaper and just buy the drone. Or you can get the package that I bought, which was the Fly More package. Gets you a couple extra batteries. Uh, gives you a little bit of longer flight time when you're out in the field flying this thing. So uh, I'll link both of those in the description down below. All right, so here's the Tello drone and we got the three batteries here. I'm gonna take the first one out. Now here's the cool thing about this uh, charger here. This is the Fly More package. And on this charger, when you plug it in and charge it, there's three lights that come on and it'll start blinking on the battery that it is charging. And after that one's full, it'll stay lit and it'll go to the next one and then the next one. So it doesn't charge all three of them at the same time, just one at a time. All right, so the battery fits right into the drone just like this. And then you'll hear a little snap and you know that it's in there. So it's a little drone. Look at it compared to my hand. That's about the sizing on it. So yeah, so it's a small drone. We're gonna get it put over there on the phone. I'm gonna, or get on the, on the floor and then I'm gonna get it on my phone and we're gonna take the lift off. I also have my GoPro here so that way I can record some footage of this um, because I will be using my phone to use the controls on the drone. Okay, so I got the drone here dead center in the gym, but on the side, there's a button you have to push right there, and then a light comes on right there. And so what you have to do is once that light is blinking or it's like connecting, you gotta jump on your Wi-Fi settings on your phone and connect to the Wi-Fi network that comes up that says Tello, and then you're connected to the drone. bunch of bees coming at you but this one isn't too bad the wind yeah you can feel the wind right here um, with the drone and those propellers but, all right so
Okay, here's a flip mode. So, so far, I mean, the battery doesn't last long on these little drones like this. I think we got about a 13 minute flight time. That's why I got the fly more package so that way we could fly it a little bit longer. But it's pretty fun so far um, working this drone. And everything's controlled on a smartphone. There's no controller that comes with it. Um, but the good thing about this is, is you know, it does keep the cost down a little bit since you don't have to buy those extra components. But I bet it would be a little bit easier if you did have a joystick controllers in order to control this thing. Um, but yeah, you can tell by the way I'm talking here and the noise from here, whether you're able to have a conversation with somebody uh, while this thing is flying. And so far, yeah, it's doing pretty good. I, I like it. Fine. Bam, there we go. That's the palm landing on your hand. Cool. All right, this is my son's first time flying the drone. First time flying the drone, try not to wreck it. Okay, so it's the next day and I'm here at my house in the backyard and I'm outside and we have a beautiful day here for uh, December. It's unusually warm, but I'm gonna fly the drone outside for the first time and I'm gonna show you guys what kind of footage this thing can take uh, outside. So uh, let's see, let's, let's just, I hope I don't get caught in a tree or stuck somewhere because that would really stink, but let's see what this thing can do. All right, so here's a drone just hovering in midair, and the wind is, is blowing a little pretty good right now. And it's holding steady, as you can see, just maintaining its pressure right there in midair. But it's doing pretty good, even with a, a little bit of wind blowing. There was notifications coming up on the device saying, you know, that it couldn't do certain things because of the high winds. But it does pretty well just sitting there hovering. Okay, so here's the drone flying in midair as high as it can, just hovering with the wind blowing it. But that's, that's pretty high up there. Okay, so the first battery is now dying. It's coming to an end. So we got probably about 13 minutes. That's what they um, advertise it as. That's probably about what we got on this. Um, one thing I did notice as it started to get toward the lower part of the battery, um, you would see it kind of wiggling like that a little bit um, instead of having that nice smooth drone footage that I was taking. So when your battery starts to get a little bit low, your footage may not look as, as good because it will start to wiggle. There was a notification, a warning notification that come on the screen that says land a drone soon because your battery is low. So that's nice that it does um, do that and give you a little bit of warning. Another thing is on the bottom here, there are some sensors. So when I did go to land a drone, um, and I had a full blast going down. It didn't like slam down on the ground. It actually stopped and then hesitated and then it went down. So that's kind of nice also. So that way it protects the blades and protects this thing from crashing. So when you pay a lot of money for these things, you want it to last a little while. So they do put some good technology in these to make them fun.